Twilio SendGrid makes it super simple for you to send your first email in just five minutes or less. In this video, we'll show you how it works with Ruby, but if you use any of the programming languages appearing on screen right now, there's a helper library just for you. Here's how it works. Your app makes a post request to slash mail slash send over in SendGrid, and SendGrid sends an email to your user's inbox. Let's see how it works. We'll start by creating an API key. Head into SendGrid and go under Settings to API Keys. Hit the Create API Key button and give it a name. Go to Restricted Access and scroll down to where it says Mail Send and expand that and click on where it says Mail Send. Scroll down and hit the Create and View button. Copy the key that appears here and store it in an environment variable. Over in the terminal, we we'll use bundle init to create a new gem file, and we'll also create a send email.rb file. And then we'll open this folder inside of a code editor. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code, but feel free to use whatever you would like. Then open up your gem file and add a gem sendgrid ruby line and run bundle install to install the sendgrid helper library for Ruby. Next, head into the sendemail.rb and require the sendgrid ruby helper library and include it into this file. Next, we're going to create some email addresses. The first is the from email address, and mine is going to be me at brentschooley.com. Then we'll create a to email address for brent from twilio at gmail.com. And then I'll set the subject line to sending with twilio send grid is fun. Then we'll create some content with content.new. The type is text slash plain. And then we'll set the value to and easy to do anywhere, even with Ruby. Next, we'll create a mail object calling sendgrid mail.new and passing in the from subject to and content values. Then we'll initialize a sendgrid API object passing in the API key from the environment variable on your system. Next, we'll use the API to create a post request to slash mail slash send passing in the mail that we've been creating. And then we'll log out the status code body and headers for the email when it is sent. Give everything a save and then run bundle exec ruby send email.rb and your email will be sent and those values will get logged out. Heading over into your email client, you should see the email has sent correctly and it will be sent from the correct to and from email addresses. 